Welcome to CCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian, and here are some of your top stories for today, February 4th, 2020. Iowa reports no caucus winner after inconsistencies beleveled account. Chinese doctor who tried to blow the whistle on the coronavirus catches disease. Trump's mid-impeachment State of the Union. Alabama judge denies self-defense claim from woman who says she killed a man who raped her. The FBI offers a $10,000 reward for information on armed robber dubbed the Scream Bandit. And Michigan College Gift Shop removes dolls displaying depicted leaders hanging from a tree. Let's get to the news. The Iowa caucuses that were to give shape to the Democratic presidential race devolved into a political embarrassment for the party and left candidates and voters hanging with no results and no springboard into the next round of contest. An attempt to modernize the archaic I Iowa uh, caucus system and make it more transparent melted down with the introduction of new technology and more complex rules. The Iowa Democratic Party was unable to release results from Monday's caucuses after discovering inconsistencies in reporting from some precincts. By the morning, the state Democratic Party said that the statement that it had identified the flaws in the phone application used to report the results had failed on Monday night. Chinese doctor targeted by authorities after sounding the alarm about the coronavirus in the early days of the outbreak is now laying in a hospital sickened with the deadly disease, according to reports. Dr. Li Wing Yang, 34, posted a chilling warning in his medical school alumni group, the WeChat app, that seven people from the seafood market in Wuhan had been quarantined in his hospital with SARS-like illness, according to CNN. Invoking memories of the SARS epidemic that claimed hundreds of lives amidst a government cover-up back in 2003, Lee said, I only wanted to remind my university classmates to be careful, but within hours, the ophthalmologist intended to be a private alert. Screenshots of his messages had gone viral, exposing him as a whistleblower. When I saw them circulating online, I realized that it was out of my control and that I would probably be punished. Lee pose, um, Lee's whom police had accused him of rumor mongering, told CNN from his intensive care bed after being diagnosed on Saturday. President Trump will address the nation Tuesday night. In the same room, Democrats voted to impeach him less than two months ago and a day before he is expected to be acquitted in the Senate. A Jackson County judge has rejected the self-defense claim of Brittany, Sp Brittany Smith, who is charged with the murder and now faces the prospect of going to trial. Brittany Smith is charged with a January 2018 shooting death of Todd Smith, who is not related. The test, she testified at a self-defense immunity hearing last month that Smith raped and choked her into unconsciousness. She claimed that she shot Todd Smith after he choked her brother. But the circuit court judge Jennifer Holt rejected the self-defense claim, questioning whether deadly force was necessary to protect Brittany Smith's brother while he fought with Todd Smith. The judge also said physical evidence of Brittany Smith's injuries shows bruising to her neck and bite marks and a broken fingernail. But the judge said the injuries did not reflect sexual assault. The judge also said that she could have fled to safety. The judge didn't the judge did note, however, that Todd Smith had a significant amount of methamphetamines in his system when he died. Other news, the FBI is offering a reward for as much as $10,000 for information leading up to the arrest and conviction of a robber dubbed the Scream Bandit, a string of armed robberies of gas stations. 
The wanted man has eluded the law enforcement for more than a year, carrying out robberies in Virginia wearing a mask from the 1996 horror film Scream, according to FBI. The three robberies have taken place in January and February of last year, and three of them occurred last month, the FBI said. All taking place in Virginia or nearby Henrico County and North Chesterfield. In all the robberies, the suspect wore all black clothing, black or blue gloves, and a scream mask, according to the poster. The suspect is always armed with a semi-automatic handgun and demands cash from the clerk after handing a bag to the clerk. The suspect is a considered to be a black male, 5'7", and weighing somewhere between 160 to 180 pounds, according to the FBI. The latest robbery was on January 26th. The suspect pushed, uh, pushed a gas station clerk before moving behind the counter, flipping the register over and grabbing additional money. The screen bandit should be considered armed and dangerous. And in other news, a gift shop in the Performing Arts Center at the Michigan State University campus has removed a display of dolls depicting black historical figures hanging from a rack after numerous people complained on social media. MSU's official has become aware of the inappropriate and in insensitive display in a gift shop at the Walton Center of the Performing Arts last week and immediately removed it according to a statement from the MSU spokesperson. It, is, it used a rack resembling a tree to hang felt ornaments resembling Michelle Obama and Barack Obama and Prince. Regardless of the intent of the display, its impact cannot be ignored. The people were hurt and offended. We sincerely apologize for our community to our community members and have immediately removed the display. Additionally, after the Walton Center reported the incident, it has agreed to provide employees and volunteers with racial bias training that focuses on the impact and understanding of intentionally and unintentionally racial uh, watching and listening to ccn news as always please be the change that you want to see so if you want change you have to be that change the change begins with you uh, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe once again i'm your host captivating christian and thanks for watching peace